press button 41, and if you watch very closely, you may see the King Brothers. And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. January 10th, 1949, 67 years ago today. The day RCA Victor unveiled a new breed of phonograph record, the 45. Just seven inches across, with a one and a half inch hole in the middle, the new record played at 45 revolutions per minute, with greater fidelity and clarity than the old 78 RPM record. Listen, compare, and you too will agree that RCA Victor's 45 RPM record is the finest and best ever made. Not everyone agreed, including the folks at arch rival Columbia Records, which was promoting a new record of its own, played at 33 and a third RPM. Said Columbia's chairman, we are unable to fathom the purpose of the records revolving at 45 RPM. Though Columbia couldn't fathom it, a generation or two of American young people certainly did. With its small size and modest price, the 45 became the standard for top 40 hit songs, not to mention a mainstay for the malt shop jukebox. From the 50s through the 60s, from Elvis to the Beatles and beyond, millions of American teens first played their favorite songs on a 45. Eventually, however, technology turned against the pint-sized record the first truly sensible approach to tape. Cassette tapes, CDs, and online streaming services all eclipsed the 45, and it's 33 and a third Big Brother as well, relegating vinyl records of all types to that most dreaded of categories, music your parents or even your grandparents listen to. But old-style record lovers take heart. There's a bit of a vinyl revival currently underway, with sales of 33 and a third LPs up 52% between 2013 and 2014. Proof positive that what goes around comes around.